Hey there, my fellow Cursed Seraphs, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, Episode 46, Cursed Spawn. Oh, the roof's right there. Ooh. It's very much like on my base. You know what? Little rift? Here, enjoy a lantern. <laughs> the lanterns uh, will prevent spawning because it's bright. Not perfectly. Because the rifts have a lot larger of a area than that, but it'll help a little. You can see the damage difference when I'm uh, unarmored or armored. It's huge. So I am just about out of fire clay. I'm out of granite stones for cobblestone. So that is uh, something I'm going to have to go fetch now if I want to continue working on the uh, the farm project. Yeah, and I gave up my light sources, so let's take those back. Uh, the rift's already gone? No, 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 I, I just didn't see it. False! It is still there. But I kind of like the uh, the high walls, even though it's more expensive. Um, they just, I don't know. I, again, personal preference, but I prefer walls to be taller. So, yeah, let's let's uh, let's get some granite for building. I can hear all the drifters around me all pissed. They'll come for me eventually. So I think the aim will be to make one greenhouse and then repull. So I don't spend so much time investing in it. So I'll start with one, and then if you want me to continue to make the other greenhouse, I could do that. And then there's of course also the um, the apiaries too, right? And closing them is is beneficial as well. No, there must be a rift over there too. I'll just let them kill me, because I don't want to burn all my healing. Look, I glow in the dark. One of the kindest things they do for me when you die is you glow in the dark so that you're not, like, totally blind and unable to get back to your body. I was running the wrong way. Hello. At this point, it might make sense to use one of those temporal gears to set my spawn point um, as my base at home. Because if that was the case, I would have just like spawned, you know, I could set it to where I, I spawn essentially like at my bed. And that would, oh Jesus, that would save me from runs like this one. It's not a, it's not a terrible idea. That's a cool cave. 
I think uh, I ran the wrong way though. Ooh. Hope you're not philosophic. That's a pretty deep, deep uh, lake. Yeah, once I get back, I'll probably do the temple gear. So what that does is it it will um, allow me to have 20 respawns for wherever I use the gear. Which is can be pretty nice when you're death running. To avoid this annoying death run. Mostly because the terrain around me just sucks badly. Like, it's just obnoxious. And uh, you guys can't see squat. Oh, that's a that's a that's a lake. And my lovely death spawn colors are fading. I just okay now now I just want to die. Game, please kill me. What time is it in game? Oh, you know it's actually going to be let out very soon. The worry is it might not be let out soon enough for me to get my stuff back. Right into the mega cave. No, I went south. I went around it. I could kind of. I mean, I know you guys can't see anything. I, I can't really either. But I'm making out enough that I'm sort of stumbling my way home. Mm, I've hit a wall. There we go. Now I'm moving. This is this is peak gameplay right here. You might not like it. This is what it looks like. One thing I could have tried to do is to make a fire starter and a quick torch. In hindsight, probably shoulda. I thought I could have made a better time back home by just using my glow, but uh, that was not the case. Live and learn. Guess I fell. Is there a death command, like a suicide command? I don't... I can't recall if that's a thing that you can do. Oh, well, this bear will help me. Thank you, bear. It's too bad that you can't just, like, feed the bears. Bear, where are you? Come on, I need to get back to my body. Where are you? Marco! You sound like you're in front of me. Marco! Ah, oh, you found me. Thank you! How far am I? You know what? I don't even want to spend the time looking. I'm, like, in the same stupid lake region, too. Game, please. Note to self, the stupid lake region... Hi, bear. Oh, maneuvered you. For now. Ah! Okay. Cool. You didn't need to do that time. They could climb pretty good. Alright, well now it's becoming daytime. I just want to get back to my, my stuff. And that has been super annoying. Because it keeps spawning me in this garbage forest. Where the bear is still... Oh, and there's a rift on top of my head. 
The bear is still going to be in my way. I'm part of a mega cave now. Let me out of the stupid cave. God, more cave. It's like the game's like, oops, all cave. Yeah, I see that. Do not appreciate your cheekiness. I would say there's a very real... Ch oh, Jesus. Very real chance I get back and my stuff's just gone because of how horrid the terrain is. Like, truly. Uh, A-tier a garbage forestry around me. And now I regret not setting a, a temporal gear spawn point. And these are things that, like, you don't f find out about your seed until, like, you settle in a bit longer. Because it's very easy to just not realize what is... Look, look, look at this! It's like I need a... a grappling hook to get around here. These are things you don't necessarily realize about your... Oh, for, for frick's sake. I can't even get out of here. Yeah, tired of caves? How about a giant hole? Oh, where a ram is ramming me to death. Thanks, sheep. And it keeps spawning me in the same garbage area over and over and over and over and over. It's like, all right, you want the nice, flat plains of the west or... No, 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 screw you. We're going to go with screw you for an 18th time. Yeah, my, my gear is gone, definitely. Which is to say, it's mostly just the... Uh, the prospecting pick, the pick, and the sword, but I already have metallic, uh, I already have meteoric ore for the sword, like spare. So it's annoying to have to recast that stuff, but the fact that I keep getting teleported back here is really just flatly, st like, look, look at this. I have to go like straight up and around and then down into the holes. It's, uh, it's just, it's horrible. So the first thing I'm going to do when I get home is to uh, set up a spawn point. But I'm going to have to spend some time remaking. Um, and that bear, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you so good once I have my gear. Um, remaking, you know, like shovel and knife and that kind of stuff. Uh, the daylight doesn't matter. I mean, the, the, the loot is toast. It, it has timed. Well, if I wanted quartz, found some more. Uh, so Shona, you can't net picks. Picks are forged only. There's no such thing as a flint pick. That's why getting your first uh, copper pick and shovel is so important. Or a uh, pick and hammer. Excuse me. Because there's no mining until you do that. So the eastern hills have more quartz. I don't think I'm going to need more quartz. For a bit. And the other thing annoying to replace is a lantern. Because of, uh... Having to hammer out, like, more plates. Oh, look, floating quartz. Alright, we're almost back. 
Yeah, if only I could have spawned in like... I mean, surely this isn't flat. But like, more... Well, no, it's still pretty cursed. Ever so slightly more reasonable terrain, let's call it. Oh, I thought I could make that jump. Yeah, saving the two wicker baskets, exactly. At least I still have those. Yeah, every now in the game, the game will just decide, you know, big ol' screw you. There's nothing you can do, you just have to roll with the punches. It's the, you know, the challenge of playing uh, survival games like this. And had I realized how annoying it would have been, I would have either A, worn armor for all the stupid drifters, or B, set a temporal gear spawn point. So I'll show you the temporal gear spawn point once I'm back. I'm pretty sure everything's gone, but I was, what, standing over here, I think? Somewhere around here, yeah, it's probably all gone. Oh, look, there's quartz bits. The, uh, the rip spot, like, um, uh, gets moved around a lot, right? So it tracks, like, your last one, but not your first one. I died around here. I think. And yeah, I don't I don't see anything. All right. Back to making a new set of stuff. Yeah, hindsight's 2020 20, exactly. And and it's important for you guys to see, you know, what happens in these cases. So, if we wanted to set a spawn point, uh let's do that now. And then we'll check up on the glass. There we go. So I just used the temple gear and a knife. And that's all squared away. All right, so the other thing that we wanted to do is to make, um, so let me update the priority right now make new tools what I think I'm gonna do is hold off on a lantern however um, just because I don't want to be hammering ingots into plates I'll just use torches in the meantime so there's some hand baskets and I'll get the yeah here we are I forget the shape was it uh... Nope, that wasn't it. Ah, there, there it is. Baskets are done. Uh, I don't think that I have clay bowls anymore, right? Does that sound about right? Because I had made four and they're there. So I'm going to need to make an another set of those as well. Uh, so here's the axe for the charcoal. But um, that's going to be a minute. So up here we have the Falks. Uh, but I'm going to need a... I think a probably way to go is yeah. So we have twenty four glass in there. Probably way to go is to um, is to actually make charcoal for an iron pick. Yeah, probably the way to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bowls 
I don't know if I have enough blue clay for that, but we'll we'll find out. I'm gonna make the bowls, and then I'm gonna make a run of charcoal so that I can uh, hammer out some tools. We'll need to get these fired up, which will make eating a little bit easier. We still have other batches of leather cooking up. Um, so we could just replace the backpacks. My saw's upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. So where it's... Yeah, here it is. Can make another saw blade sooner or later. Oh, uh, I actually didn't want planks. I wanted to axe it for firewood. There we go. Cheers. I don't have a torch on me. But as soon as I do, we'll get that fired up and then work on uh, charcoal. I think I have spare torches in this box. I know I have one on the... Yeah, I have plenty of torches here. I know I have one permanently on the wall where I cook. Hey, bud. All right, bowls are fired. Now this fruit's probably gonna rot very soon, so I'm just gonna eat it now. while I wait for the uh, kilns to fire up. Okay, so we're pushing for pit kiln now, or a um, charcoal burn. Is this actual tree? No, this is just a big vertical bush. Cool. Just doing a quick check to make sure it's not resin producing tree. Because I wouldn't mind planting pines until I get resin producing trees around home. That'd be pretty cool.
sometimes the pines are like hard to check. Like this one. That's very bushy. This one's resin producing though. I think I've harvested it. So we'll be we'll be back once it has more. This is about an in-game week between um, resin harvest, I think. Not all pine will produce resin, but those that do uh, will continue to do so, provided you don't cut them down. So if you keep planting pine trees around your home, marking down the ones that produce resin. So this one does produce resin, so I won't cut it. Marking down the ones that produce resin and cutting down the ones that don't, you'll eventually have just a bunch of resin producing trees around you, making resin way easier to source. As it's needed for like gears and mechanical power and a bunch of other stuff. So probably hold off on replacing all the tools and just have the like must-haves, the absolutely necessaries. Meaning like not even doing necessarily the sword because I already have a tin bronze fox, which is good enough. Not doing, I might not even do the shield because the shield's gonna just be a lot easier once uh, I have a, a health hammer built. Just doing the bare minimum, in other words. Uh, just to progress the goals along. Was that oak? I think that next tree might be oak, which is nice, because I need more... Yeah. Tannin. They're both oaks. They're tiny oaks, though. Won't yield much, but whatever. Oak, oaks can eventually be like massive. Massive trees. All right, let's see uh, how much firewood this, this yields. Shove this into my charcoal burning kiln thing. This is uh, very much why you want like a spare set of tools or at least a hammer. Like at least leave a hammer behind in your base. Because if you have no hammer and you have no nuggets that can go into... Um, uh, no nuggets that can go into a, uh, a crucible to make new tools, like you can really have one bad loss and be shoved back into like the Stone Age. No resin. Okay.
So I'll probably do a three by three by two, which is roughly the same size batch that I've done in the past. And that should give enough, a comfortable amount uh, to get some more forging and stuff done. There's not enough uh, HP on that flint axe that I want to... Because if I, if I did it with the flint axe with three durability, it's going to start using my bronze axe um, for chopping up um, firewood. And the reason you don't want that is the higher quality axes, although they have higher durability, cut trees up quick. So if you start using it to chop into firewood, you're burning your nice tools for no reason. So keep the, the nicer tools. For the tasks that matter. I'll leave the oak alone. I'll, use, I'll see, reserve the oak for tannins. And the other really important thing to do is not have any gaps in your um, wood stacks because gaps are very bad. You're not gonna get charcoal if you have gaps. You're just gonna burn a lot of stuff for nothing. Is there any rock you can't nap with? Good question, I don't know. I think the game lets you nap with whatever. Like even soft rocks like sandstone still nap with it. And as far as tools go, uh, you can do obsidian tools, bone tools, stone tools or flint tools. An obsidian bone and flint are better than just regular stone. But ultimately, like, metal's better than all of it, so I don't make an effort to, like, go out of my way for flint or bone or or not flint, but like bone or obsidian. Like, I've never even seen obsidian, so it's not even an option. So that resin's not harvestable. That resin's not harvestable. And we got another little squat oak. Sandstone can be used to nap, but can't be used to make into an axe. That makes sense. It's like very soft. Oh, it's not that bad, but no. That's a good chunks. If you want to avoid that, you can just do like one stack at a time until it breaks.
And then sometimes pines like these that are like impossible to check if they actually have resin, I don't even bother. It's too complicated. Do I have a YT channel? Yeah, hit uh, type exclamation mark VOD or uh, socials and uh, you'll be linked to a YouTube channel. So the answer is yes. Okay, I didn't count how much more wood I needed for the burn, but this might be what I need. Run right straight past it. And uh, just in time, it started uh, raining to make life so much easier for charcoal burning. <laughs> Yep, I got all the wood I need. I just need to chop up the birch. Is one in the back right missing one? I'll check. Best to double check. I don't think so, because I, I stacked them in um, in sections of 32 in my inventory, so it shouldn't be missing any, but if you want me to make sure, it's worth it to make sure. Yeah, it's full. All right, and I got everything I need to get the burn going, except for grass. Charcoal pit. Good. Capped. And all right, charcoal batch is done. Well, not done, but you know what I mean. It's started. All right. Well. I can use some of the black coal that I have back in the base, what little that I have, in order to uh, to make some replacement tools, I think, while that charcoal gets ready. Yeah, there's a lot to worry about. Absolutely. It's, it's, I'm, I appreciate people just like making sure, double checking saves me a lot of pain time and effort in the long run. All right, we have got lots of oak for tannin. That's good because I have a lot of leather to replace. We have a new batch of tannin and soak tides. Good, 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 good. So now we have a bunch of scraped hides, and they're moving on 
And then this barrel got tapped full. So let's make another uh, huge batch of scraped hides. We're really working fast to uh, replace what I lost. Carelessly lost. It was entirely avoidable. It wasn't like I got ambushed. I was just like messing around with some drifters and then spawned in hell. Uh, I am going to need to grind up some more borax, though. I did get my spawn point. Yeah, I used a, a temporal gear for that. So if I die, I spawn on the bed behind me. So I had, what, three borax? I need 17. This is a lot easier to do when it's hooked up to a windmill. Okay. Done. So, 0.3 days, I'll have a little bit more leather. I'll have enough for uh, starting uh, another backpack supply, which is good. All right. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch December 21st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you on next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Seraphs. <laughs>